Smallmouth season has officially begun up here at Lake St. Clair. This is the closest event to my house that uh, we have all season. It's like three or four hours. This is the tournament that we've circled on the calendar all year long since the schedule came out. I spend a decent amount of time up here each year. This is the week, you know, like this is, this is hopefully a very good weekend in the season. Practice has been a lot of fun. You're catching a lot of fish. This lake is in a weird phase kind of right now. Uh, there's four pounders are a little bit harder to come by than normal. There's tons of two and three pounders out there. We're gonna try to bob around. We know what we need to do to catch five of the right fish out here. Hopefully all of our fish, should, all of our five fish are at least four pounds. I never caught a five in practice, but I know they're out here. Um, but like I said, this is the event we've looked forward to all season long. Hopefully you guys enjoy what's about to go down in these next few days and hopefully it's a good week for us. Kind of stumbled upon the right ones. I had to move around a lot. Uh, one decent one there, one decent one there. Got a like, really nice one in the last last like 20 minutes of the day. Uh, but we got a lot shorter of a day tomorrow. Today we had, we were doing it at 4:30. Tomorrow I think we're doing it at like three or something. So hopefully we can make something happen tomorrow and get somewhere close to that. You know, we still need fours and stuff, but overall a really good day, super happy. Not 100% satisfied if I'm being honest. You know, I love this lake a lot and this lake is pumping out some big bags right now. So hopefully you guys saw the big fish catches um, today. I think one of my GoPros might have, might have died happening at some point throughout the day, but man, Lake St. Clair, small mouth, we're finally here. We've been waiting all season for this. Let's continue to have a good day tomorrow and hopefully fall into the weekend. Yesterday we were the last boat out, we were boat 102. Today we're boat number one. So which means instead of being due in at 4.30, we're doing at three, uh, which is a lot of time. And on this lake later in the day, there's definitely a key window of opportunity that comes about. But today we're gonna bounce around again, cover a ton, uh, as much water as we can, looking for five big old blimps on the screen today on the Garmin Live Scope. Hopefully they bite, hopefully they commit, hopefully we can put them in the boat. Um, but. No other place I'd rather be fishing right now than Lake St. Clair. This is this place that I spent a lot of time and man, do I just love smallmouth and love clear water and looking at them on the scope. So follow along today. Hopefully the GoPros run accordingly today. Not sure if everything I captured yesterday, but hopefully you guys can come along for the ride and hopefully we'll put five more big ones in the boat.
it's it's gone. <laughs> There's nothing there. Holy crap. Time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. Hundred miles per hour might crash cause a good die young. Get a good die young. Push it to the left. 22 pounds, 4 ounces. With 44 pounds and 9 ounces. Alex Redwine is leading the Asco Bass Master Elite at Lake St. Clair. Man, talk about eventful. Um, same thing as yesterday. Big one here, big one there. Just kind of makes you nervous. The last, the last 10 minutes of the day, I caught a five pounder and that was a whole pound upgrade. Um, but super happy with how we did. You know, we did our job today. We did our job yesterday. Hopefully we can do our job again tomorrow. Um, these, these fish are feeling the pressure. There's a lot of locals out there. Uh, I feel like the locals have kind of gravitated towards a lot of stuff that, that we are fishing. Um, and they've just kind of been poking around a little bit. So it's definitely made things a little bit tough. And, figuring out areas, but I still have a few areas to myself that I've kind of been left alone and been able to do my own thing, but super fortunate to get what we had today. Uh, hopefully we can get something similar to that tomorrow. And there's, there's, I'm um, for sure fishing tomorrow and hopefully we can do our job tomorrow. And then so hopefully we can do our job on Sunday and give our, gives our, gives ourselves a shot. So stay tuned, hopefully things Hopefully more big smallmouth will enter the Phoenix bass boat. Well, here we are, a lot change of conditions today. We made the cut, uh, today is day three. Uh, we ended up in seventh yesterday, so we were in ninth after day one and we moved up a little bit to seventh. We got lucky again and caught a five pounder last minute, which made us a huge upgrade. Um, but super excited to be sitting where I'm at. Um, hopefully we can maintain, maintain that position today. A lot of different conditions. Um, I don't know if we'll get as much sun today. So I feel like that's gonna change things up a little bit. It's not, not gonna bring those smallmouth as suspended in the water column and as easy to see. Um, but we made a cut. We're on one of our favorite lakes um, in the country, Lake St. Clair. I uh, got a camera in the boat today, uh, which super excited for. That's the first for me. Um, hopefully we can just kind of, we're going to have to face some adversity today for sure because I think the rain's going to be around until about 10 o'clock or so. And then hopefully it gets a little bit sunny to give ourselves an opportunity to catch another big fish later in the day. Um, these fish like it when that sun comes out, but we're going to have to bounce around a little bit today, fish a few different areas and hopefully run into the right five. So hopefully you guys stick along and hopefully put five big smallmouths in the boat today. We're having a blast up here. Stay tuned.
It was a trying day. Yeah, for sure it was. I mean, I got a bunch of excuses that I could list off. List off. I'm not gonna do that. Um, love this lake a ton. Today, it just I was just humble today. You know, I I just felt like I was never super comfortable. I started off the day with like a, a decent four pounder, then. I just felt like time just kept moving quicker and quicker, and next thing I know, like I don't even have a limit. Well, I guess if you're gonna not do very good, uh, today would be the day to do it. Yeah, I'm not sure where we'll end up. Uh, probably somewhere, hopefully in the 30s, maybe even closer to 40. I don't know, um, but hopefully in the 30s. Uh, but this was officially the first tournament of the Northern Smallmouth Swing to say. Uh, we got two weeks off, then we go to Lake Champlain, and then directly from that we have St. Lawrence River. Um, so really excited for both of those fisheries. I'm excited to explore more of Lake Champlain. I've only been there a few times, but uh, we got some good, some decent smallmouth mojo going into the next few. Didn't get that mojo a lot today, but this week we got some good smallmouth mojo. Love this lake a ton. I fish it a lot throughout the year, um, but pretty pleased. Got some good points, and we got two more events left to hopefully move up in the standings a little bit more to keep ourselves comfortable so we can requalify for next year. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and let us know what else you guys want to see about, I know, I'm not sure how much Jay was in this video, but um, me and him hang around a lot together. So check out his channel. Let me know what you guys think of this video and stay tuned because we're going to be pumping some more uh, smallmouth videos here shortly.